Fazanu new um, kaupapa for us. We had been thinking about doing something like this for quite some time, particularly Jermaine. Both our parents played for Wanimata Rugby League Club and so we've always had that kind of tight connection in the community. In, in, in those good glory days that Wanimata League had, you know, it was, it was so awesome to be amongst all of that as a young fella. Well, if I just knew from there, like, yeah, I want to carry this sort of stuff on, you know. We kind of got it up and running in about February 2021. We had to set up as an entity or a business or whatever, and um, that's where Wanyamata Marae came into the mix. The whole community, uh, Pacific Island, Māori, Pākehā, they all helped build this marae, literally. Build it, carve it, um, they cooked, they had housing nights, you know, to fundraise for this marae. That is the co-pop of Wanyamata Marae is Ngāhaue Whā, so it just seemed fitting that we become Ngāhaue Whā as well because we're a group of Māori um, whānau who come from all over the motu. This is kind of like our base now. Do hāngi, learn how to do haka, waiata, noho marae, training for sports and things like that, so it was just like a, a woman really. All the adults that have got involved in our hoe far, they're all just like Wanyamata dads, uncles, you know, builders, labourers, sports commentators, um, you name it. All the kids know them now, and they're like actual role models for all our rangatahi here in Wanyamata. Ko Keith got a name somewhere little talking one. Ko Auntie, ATM manager, um, ask your auntie everything. First aid, aho. <laughs> Uber, yeah. Trainer. We were both managers for uh, the Ngahaui Whā Under 14 um, teams. I was at the Kotiro and Auntie Kef was with uh, the uh, Tama. Under 14 Tama. This Whānau flag has been running for probably uh, 30 plus to 30 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, mm. it, it is about bridging the gap between our generations. Um, it's not usually competitive. It's supposed to be about uh, granddad playing with Moko and, and their sons and from this module has been born like the Piri Wepus, the Billy Wepus, the Namiya the Latas, the, um, the Tana Mangas even back then. This, you know, it was about um, playing with their, their mentors and so mm. that's sort of the kind of that we're trying to keep alive. Yeah, keep alive. <laughs> I started off by playing rugby at my school and then I moved on to Ngahau Whaupa playing prop because I get to run a straight to people. The difference between playing for school and Ngahau Whaupa is the whanaunga tanga in the club and I wasn't really one to play but decided to give it a try and now um, I love it. And yeah, I play for Ngahau Whaupa and 16 girls now. We are very passionate about our people and our whānau and our community as well, so a, a lot of heart and a lot of hard mahi and, you know, it's our working crew that are really tight too. We all grew up together. Some of our kids that, that have been on board, you know, some of them don't even have the chance to go over the hill, you know, or, some, or, or even go away to something. For me, knowing that, you know, these kids are going to get an opportunity to go out, go away, go with their friends, be a part of something, you know, that, that's the reward. All our kids and all our coaches um, have really bonded over that time being together. Um, even if it's through, through the sports or outside of sports or whatever, you know, it feels really like a whānau now, like a big whānau now. Like the other thing that we don't want to be lost is that about being affordable or free. So, you know, yeah. getting our That's sponsorships and our funders in um, definitely supports these kaupapa. Without them, we can't do this. I'm actually really keen on creating like pathways into careers and, um, you know, an environment to tie out and health and social service type of 
mahi as well. In a probably a few more years with all the housing and things, it's going to be a very different community. Yeah. So we're going to be looking at trying to hold on to a lot of these things that are fundamental to our community um, and keep our community tight knit. You know, that's an aspiration of mine, is not just the development of their sports and stuff, but to develop all aspects of them like holistically. That spreads to their whānau as well.